Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Could there be a time when we have a strong dollar and rising gold prices? Well, possibly. As we can see here, these are the closing prices uh, as of the uh, here at the 11th of August. They closed out at the 10th. And uh, through the weekend here, they're down a bit for gold and silver and the precious metals. But nonetheless, who knows what money could bring, given the circumstances that we find ourselves in these days. And uh, on that point, we have Turkey, the crisis in Turkey, announced that tariffs would be increased, doubled down on tariffs on Turkey. And they are in a currency crisis. And uh, here, this article from Kitco shares one point of view about the currency crisis that could create a shining moment for gold. The Turkish currency crisis that could spread to Europe is breathing a bit of life into gold as a safe haven asset. Will Rind, chief executive officer for ETF provider Granite Shares, said in an interview uh, that the gold market could be close to reversing its downtrend, downward trend as investors are starting to see value at current prices. But analysts are still concerned that the yellow metal faces tough competition against the U.S. dollar. The gold market is preparing to see slight gains on the week, ending a four-week losing streak. Comex December gold futures last traded at 1221.70 an ounce, virtually unchanged from the previous week. However, many analysts note that technically the gold market is still in a downtrend as prices hover near the recent 12-month low. Yet, Ron said this might be the beginning of the reversal for the yellow metal as half the world's economic teeters, economy teeters on the brink of a currency crisis. Loose monetary and government fiscal policies have boosted the nation's economy, but they have also created a significant risk for the Turkish lira. Friday saw the lira hit historic lows against the U.S. dollar. At one point, the U.S. dollar was up 24% against Turkey's currency. This isn't just a Turkey story either. Three European banks have been identified as having significant exposure to Turkey. Spanish bank BBVA, Italian bank Unicredit, and French bank, bank BNP Parabas. There is a growing concern that Turkey's problem could spill into Europe, which be be a significant drag in the region's economy, bolstering uh, possibly more demand for gold in those countries. Um, and hence, even with a strong dollar, that could lead to gold going up uh, in price. And here's another uh, mining news agency report here about how gold prices gave up earlier gains on Friday with the crisis engulfing Turkey's lira-boosting demand for bullion as a safe haven investment while at the same time bolstering the U.S. dollar and making gold more expensive for buyers with other currencies. And that's the thing we have to consider here. Sooner or later, it's going to be one of those things where either people aren't going to be able to afford to buy gold in those other countries, lessening demand, pushing the price lower in U.S. dollar terms, uh, making it uh, the price possibly sink lower in those countries as demand wanes, or people with means in those countries will buy up as much gold as possible, kind of like what we saw in Iran. <clears throat> Investors rushed to the safety of the greenback as the lira collapsed as much as 23% to a record low. Russia's ruble uh, crumbled to its lowest in more than two years, and the euro and pound touched their weakest levels in a year. With the turmoil in Turkey spreading to other markets, gold traditionally used as, sa as a safe investment in times of uncertainty, uh, also saw some extra interest. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glossing over when they use the term investment. I don't, I think that's not a wise, I think that's a misleading term, uh, given the traditional definitions of, a, of the word investment in the markets. With the turmoil in Turkey spreading to other markets, gold traditionally uh, used as a safe hedge in times of uncertainty, I would rather say, saw some extra interest. Saxo Bank analyst 
Ole Henson said, there's a little battle going on between the strengthening dollar and some safe haven demand emerging from the contagion risk following the collapse of the lira. But gold prices later paired gains. Spot gold was unchanged at 1211.94 per ounce uh, by 143 p.m. Eastern time with the dollar more than 0.9% stronger against a weaker against a basket of major currencies. Gold was set to end the week largely unchanged after four consecutive weeks of price falls. U.S. gold futures for December deliveries settled down 90 cents or 0.1% at 1219 per ounce. Gold has tumbled 11% from an April, April high to a one-year low of 1204 last week as the dollar rallied to 13-month highs and investors exited gold positions and began to speculate on lower prices. The price action is telling us that people don't want to buy gold now. It's in a downtrend, so that's adding more weight to push it down further, said Michael Matuasek, a head trader at U.S. Global Investors. You need to see it above 1260 before you see that uh, trend turn around, close to the 1265 per ounce July high. Expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve will raise interest rates next month, bolster the dollar and U.S. bond yields, and damage appeal of non-yielding gold. Momentum indicators suggest prices will fall further, analyst at Scotia Makota said, with support of gold's July 2017 low of 1204.90. And silver was down 0.9% of 15.27 an ounce. Platinum lost 0.2% at 8.28. And palladium gained 0.1% at 907.80 an ounce. All three metals were on track to end the year and the week largely flat. You know, it's interesting, and it goes to show you uh, the term baking in comes to mind when you think about how they, talk, how they mentioned here that the prices are going down anticipating uh, the Federal Reserve raising interest rates next month. And so when the interest rates actually hit, we may see gold remain flat. But the, uh, the thing is, is that could occur, meaning that gold may remain flat. But if something else happens in another country and gold demand goes up, and you see the spread that we're talking about uh, between the European banks uh, doing business with Turkey, uh, suffering because of these... Uh, tariffs and their and their falling lira, and then it could increase demand for gold, depending on you know the uh, uh, what I had mentioned before um, about how you know depending on the mood of the countries and being able to afford to buy gold. But people, you know, sometimes what especially the wealthy, you know, they're they're seeing their value or their their wealth go away with their currencies, and they're going to go to that safe haven asset of gold. Um, but many people, middle class and, and lower income, won't be able to take as much advantage of that strategy, uh, considering that they just need whatever they can just to survive. And uh, so, but and that's a big deal in 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 those nations where gold is culturally significant compared to other nations. But fascinating indeed, um, seeing where things are going, and obviously silver is affected too, but. You know, in these nations, gold is really king, um, and so that is kind of where people go. I don't know. You know, it's interesting. It's fascinating. We know, like in Saudi Arabia and other nations, silver is really not um, that much. There, there's not as much cultural significance as well. Um, it seems like really here in the West, you see a little bit more interest in silver uh, than you do in the East. People really just go to gold, um, even though silver has been used in money quite often in the East um, and around the world, uh, up until obviously the 60s and 70, early 70s and the like. But uh, very fascinating indeed. But it just goes to show you that you don't even really need a black swan event where you can to uh, to the 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 stars can align in such a way that you have a high dollar and potentially a rise in gold prices. And we could see that before the summer's out if some of this analysis uh, turns out to be correct. It's anyone's guess really to see. Many people, I think, in the community think that we're going to see prices continue to dip as we see in the analysis from these two articles. 
So post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.